Hello Bellens and welcome to the hellhole that is Daily Race B. Uh, it started off pretty well really, this is on my second account after last week's debacle where I got bashed all over the place and my DR absolutely tanked. So I created a new one just on a bit of fun and this one was starting in P3. Um, I'm behind some Russian dude and a Spanish but I've also got the dangerous Spanish behind me. We all know about their reputation. But at least they're women are alright, you know, apart from the moustaches. Uh, so, here we go. So the first lap is normally a settling in period. Try not to make mistakes, keep it clean. And if you can, break away from the slipstream behind and stay in the one in front. Uh, this corner coming up here is going to be quite important. I seem to gain a lot of time and a lot of people here. Um, but the guy in front on this occasion just got a little bit of a better exit, he's got a bit more momentum. Um, but you will see soon the way he was driving, he was quite aggressive. I mean, that's a hell of an overtake there. Um, the other guy behind, a bit twitchy, losing his racing line. Um, he was quite aggressive, but he seemed fair. And already I'm thinking, oh, okay, this could be uh, quite a battle up front. Um, out of nowhere, a disgusting pink GTR comes flying through. Um, great in a straight line, bit twitchy on the exits. Um, and as you will see here, it goes a little bit too wide onto the grass. He's shit a brick and uh, he's decelerated. Up on the inside of the Russian, keeping it clean really tight. Um, he's got a bit more of an advantage on the outside and he starts breaking away, I go back into the slipstream. We jump forward again. Uh, this bit down this hill is going to be quite important in this video, as you'll see later on. Um, the Russian, being very aggressive, he's lost a little bit, so I've been able to gain some time with him there. Uh, driving really close. But like I say, he was driving clean, and I always try my best to drive clean. He's cut across me a little bit there. Um, he should be checking his radar, I'm giving him a little bit more space, but you know, all's fair in love and war. Um, on to final lap. Uh, this is where it really gets good. Around this corner here, it's really important you get a lot of momentum. Uh, accelerate as early as possible, and you carry that speed all till all the way to the very end of this. Um, Lots of people do seem to ease off on that part and they lose a lot of time while they're getting a little bit wobbly. Um, back into this, one of my favourite corners. Try to keep it tight, a little bit wider than I'd like, but that means I do get a bit more momentum on the way out. Tucking back into a slipstream down this hill. Break in where you should. Tucking in, keep it nice and clean. Make sure we're coming out without being too dangerous. Um, I'm already anticipating a battle between these two, knowing how the Russian has been driving. He really wants his win. Into the tight hairpin. So many mistakes by people, including myself, has been made there. It seemed like you just need to press and accelerate a little bit. You do. And then you spin all over the place and into the wall. So get really close to these two now. They're breaking away. Now the Russian is attacking the guy in front. He's trying to defend, which means they both go wide. I've tucked them on the inside. He swiveled a little bit. I've got momentum. He's also picked up a one second penalty. No matter what happens here, I'm gonna take the win on the final corner. And the Russian ends up down in fifth because of that one mistake. There's me in my crappy livery and my crappy outfit, not a chance to have created some nice clothes or liveries at this point. Uh, into the next one, race two, starting quite far back this time in P6. Uh, again, everyone tucks into the slipstream. First corner can be quite important. Um, we're going to skip forward here into my favourite corner right up this guy's ass. Going round, and as we're going to see, people start getting into battles and it starts losing everyone some time. Breaking really close, swinging it in, those two battling in my corner. I'm now up into fourth, going front a hefty penalty. I'm laughing my tits off at this point, 
I know by the end of this lap, if all goes well, I should be in third already. He goes and has a picnic onto the grass. I cut inside, heading down into the smaller chicane. Looking good already from P6 before the end of the lap up to P3, mostly because of other people's errors, which seems to be a common theme in these races. But it's only four laps, everyone really pushes, and it's kind of a sprint. The guy in front here, as you see, gets a ridiculous penalty. I've no idea what that was for. Um, I don't know if he's just slightly punted the guy in front or he's gone off the track. I don't even know what that was for. But again, I'm looking at this thinking, right, I'm going to be right up behind P1 next. This guy, here we go. End of lap two, he takes his penalty. I'm a bit worried he's going to unghost there, so I'll just go sideways a bit. Down this hill run up my arse here, I'm going to have to swing it in, he's bashed me, unable to control it, I'm fucking dead. So from 6 up into 2nd, and as we see after everyone overtakes me, dirty tyres as well, I'm down in ninth. The next corner is going to take really cautiously because my tyres are going to be absolutely ruined and filthy. So you can see I'm really wide around this one. Try my best to keep it on the track at sensible speed. And again, down this one here, uh, quite a tricky chicane, especially with 30 tyres. Just taking it slow, waiting till my tyres are getting back to where they should be. So, lap four, the very end, guy in front of me to serve this penalty. I don't have enough time to overtake him. Finish in ninth. Really disappointed with that one um, because of other people being shit. Give him a report, might teach him a lesson, or will it? Uh, new livery, door number 15, way down the back, but I am qualified in P6. An unusual start as well for this one, as you will see. Uh, I was a bit confused, so I started going really wide in auto drive, and then I'm right up against everyone, everyone's really close. I'll take a quick look behind me, there's a traffic jam, this is going to be good. So off we go, already up the place, a bit worried about this wall on the left, so I just stuck behind this Toyota. Everyone's ramming the hell out of each other, um, it's giving me a little bit of a boost, I'm now already in second place. P1 goes a bit too wide, I'm sticking really close. Got the inside here, but I'm just going to back out a tiny bit. It's not worth fighting and ended up on the grass. He's all over the place now, a bit wobbly and slow. I had no choice but to give him a, a nudge there, and for some reason he gets the penalty. Bit harsh, but whatever. Uh, I'm now in first around my favourite corner, I'm trying to get a breakaway here. Uh, the two behind me are going to battle it out for a little while. Up towards the end of lap one, he gets a really good exit here in P2. The Spanish guy, and he's up round the outside, battling out for first place, giving each other just enough room. Uh, he's got momentum. I'm gonna just tuck in for now. No point fighting it into his slipstream. Uh, hopefully, we're gonna break away so we can battle it out and not worry about P3. Around this corner again, up the inside. He's a bit slower. I've managed to uh, put him off quite a bit. He should probably have a bit more momentum here than me. Flat out as much as possible. Wheel on each of the curbs. Keep going. He's got a little bit more pace than me. He's also in the slipstream. Uh, here we go again, up around my favourite corner. As you can see on the radar, he had to back off a little bit doesn't quite go as fast as me around there, but he's still close enough. Uh, back in the slipstream. The Supra seemed like a little bit more power than the FT1, which was my chosen car for these races. Uh, really clean through these little chicanes, and he's really close. But all of a sudden he's got a penalty. I don't really know what that was for. Maybe it was for nudging me a little bit, or he's gone off track. But all good for me. Tucking in around that corner. Again, he's still really close. He's wobbled a bit though because he's nudged me a little too much. He still manages to stay in P2. I've got a little bit of a gap now. 
Moving up to end of lap 4, just have a quick look behind me. Something's happened, they're probably too aggressive trying to get a good result and they've ended up both ruining their own races. Comfortable, easy win for most of the laps. Uh, not a problem, really pleased with that one. So winning from door 15, a good result there. I'm trying to get my DR right back up where my previous account belongs. On to the next one. Let's have a clean race. Well, let's see if that actually happens. Starting in P5, uh, just in front of GTR. So again, good in a straight line, bit tricky on the corners, as you will see. Um, goes a bit wide on here. And a little bit jittery, so I've already got my eyes on him thinking I'm going to overtake him when I get the opportunity. Um, normally, when you have a bad start, it sticks with you, and you start to make mistakes, as we will see coming through the long S's. It's a bit wobbly, it looks like he's eased off the accelerator. I've just gone flat out, overtaking him already up to P4, closing in on the three up front. Uh, these three, we're going to have a close battle, uh, all racing quite aggressively, and as you will see, it will only get worse. Down this hill again, everyone's looking good. He goes a little bit wide off onto the grass. Everyone dies. I follow suit. Absolutely ruined. Uh, this is me just about to have a rage quit. I'm contemplating it. I'm way down in 16th now. A massive gap from fourth. Race absolutely ruined. But as I wanted to keep my SR and maybe gain a few DR points, even if that's possible, I decided to carry on. Yellow flag, no idea what this guy was doing. It's a weird place to have a crash. Uh, then, carry on around the next corner. No idea what these two were doing, miles away from the racing line. Two of them absolutely ruined. I've already gained a few places now. Someone else is off and with a penalty. And I'm thinking, oh, maybe this won't be as bad as it first seemed. I'm up into 12th already from 6th. Guy in front has a penalty. Um, it's good when you can see the other cars in front of you after having such a horrendous crash. So I can see 10th. And I'm thinking, oh, that's going to be my next goal. He's going to serve a penalty in a bit. Uh, this Porsche seemed a little bit apprehensive as well. So I knew that I could overtake him. P10, he's ghosted, looked like his controller died maybe, it's a weird place to um, start slowing down, so guy in front, taking his penalty, we've got momentum now on this long straight, uh, the guy right behind me, he was the one that I crashed into on that first incident, which sent me absolutely flying, so he's going to be out for revenge, not necessarily on me, but on the race itself, so I was expecting him to drive quite aggressively, which meant I'm going to have to try and keep out of his way, but also try and push on these two in front and move up as much as possible. There's a, he's already got a penalty for something. I think he may have nudged the Porsche. He was a little bit slow around some of these corners. Uh, right up close to the other Porsche now. Drive in, slipstream, down this long hill. He's still got the inside. And have a look at the radar. No idea what that guy was doing, the other Porsche. He's absolutely dead. Um, I think he ran out of brake fluid. I have no idea, but it's clearly a ridiculous move where he was doing. Because you can clearly see he was on the inside. Okay, round this little hairpin. Again, lots of people tend to mess up on this one if you're not careful. So we skip forward to the last lap. Uh, four in a row here, we get a much better exit out of there, full speed, overtaking the Porsche on the outside, and I've got the blue Audi in my sights, and also looking at P6, knowing how far I've come back from, I'm thinking I should be able to get a really good result here, and down the inside of the Audi, I'm not going to make a move here, it's too dangerous, just tuck in, keep it nice and clean. He kills himself anyway, up into 7th, so from being absolutely dead last in 6th, I'm now up in 7th. I'm actually really pleased with myself at this point. 
um, but mostly pleased with how awful everyone else was in this race. Just as we crossed the line in 7th, not the best result, but considering what happened, pretty good. Uh, worst lobby ever, thanks for the race, yeah, cheers mate. Uh, next one, I can't remember the last time I started down in 12th, so it was clearly a really good lobby. Um, a little bit wobbly the Corvette there, around the outside, my favourite corner, so many overtakes were done on this corner, making sure I get good exit, tucking into the slipstream train, uh, still the first lap so a lot of people still trying to find their way and keep it clean. Apart from that guy who wanted a picnic, making sure I don't get absolutely ruined, guy in front, <laughs> he's dead and the other guy has got loads of seconds penalties so I'm already looking at this I'm going to move up quite a few places by the end of this lap. Everyone's going wide, he's it someone else off the grass. Serves him right for having such terrible blue wheels. Um, he'd really lost his composure here. As you can see, someone else is dead. He's going to serve his penalty and then already up into P6. Another guy in front, he's got a, <laughs> he's got a penalty to serve. A few more here, another collision, two people ramming into each other. This dude is already serving a penalty, didn't give me enough space, I had nothing else to do there. Subaru overtakes me, so I've gained a place and lost one. Uh, keep an eye on this Subaru and you'll find out in a moment. Here we are, following him. Uh, again, getting a better exit out of there, in the slipstream. I'm gonna tuck inside. Another overtake on that corner. Making sure I get a good exit. Uh, the Subaru will come bombing down behind me. The Belgian guy gonna go down the inside hoping for a undercut. He's actually done a really good overtake. The British guy gave him enough space, he didn't want to fight it, he knew how much trouble that causes. Uh, but he swung right across me there. There's nowhere else I could go. I'm gonna undercut him on the inside. He's still trying to bash into me, should have a look where his radar is. Subaru right behind me. Here we go, hits me up the arse, because he's bell end. Again, this is my rage quit screen. Do I rage quit? Do I carry on? Ah. Okay, I'm gonna carry on. Dirty tires. Off we go. I'm gonna have to try and make up another load of places here. Once again, down that long straight down the hill, smashed onto the grass by someone else that dive on me. Someone else overtakes, what do I get? Two second penalty for some other arsehole. Awesome. So here we are at the end of the final lap. He's dead for some reason. I don't know if his control is gone again. He's dead. Doesn't know how to turn his steering wheel. I've gained another few places, but another disappointing race. Um, all because people just pushing too hard. Don't know what a steering wheel is or how to use brakes. Um, I've lost momentum in the penalty zone there and I get overtaken down into 13. So I call everyone idiots, because they are. I don't know what this guy's problem was, I didn't even know he was in the race, but there you go. So my first 40 races in my new account, 18 wins, 11 clean races, really pleased with that so far, in the top 4%, and let's uh, carry on from there, thank you.